If you're anything like me, you love growing aquarium moss in your aquariums, but you know that in order to fill an entire aquarium, you need to have at least a lot of patience or a lot of money in order to fill that aquarium. So in today's video, I'm going to run a comprehensive experiment to determine what is the best method for growing aquarium moss. But in order to do that, I need to set up one of these tubs in my immersed aquarium plant setup in order to run the experiment. And lucky for me, I have a tub right here that is empty and ready to receive some plants. So a few months ago, I set up this ebb and flow immersed aquarium plant setup, which means every one of these bins has the capability to raise the water level and lower the water level and repeat that over and over again, which is really awesome for growing aquarium plants and it provides a number of benefits for the plants that we put in here. But I want to determine what is the best method for growing aquarium moss. So I have here a ton of Christmas moss that I've been growing in floating containers in a variety of different aquariums and uh, just temporary ponds that I've set up in my fish room. However, I want to know, is it better to grow Christmas moss or any kind of aquarium moss for that matter in a submerged state or an immersed state? Or there's even a new method that we can do with this ebb and flow system which puts the Christmas moss in a sweet spot that gets both submersed and immersed conditions. And maybe that growing condition is gonna give us even better growth than any of the other methods. So in order to run this experiment, I only have to make a few adjustments to this tub here. And one of those adjustments involves shortening my standpipe. As you can see here, this standpipe is currently set to the maximum height that I have uh, capable for this tub, but that's a little overkill for this experiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this standpipe and shorten it so that that limits the water depth in this tub when we're running this experiment. You'll see what I mean in a second. So in order for this experiment to work, we're going to need a bunch of these, which are net pots that we're going to put individual clumps of Christmas moss into. And each one of these net pots is going to be exposed to the different growing conditions. So in this experiment, we're going to run submerse, immerse, and a mixture of the both. And in order to do that, I'm going to build a little structure out of this right here, which is egg crate, or also known as a lighting diffuser. And that structure is going to have three different tiers. And each one of those tiers is gonna be set to this perfect height that's going to give the different growing conditions for our Christmas moss. All right, and after a little bit of time, we finally have the setup ready for the Christmas moss. So I've got the bell siphon cut, which is set to the perfect height for the system. And I have two smaller uh, racks built out of that egg crate light diffuser. And those are set to two different heights, which is going to give us the three growing conditions for this experiment. So I'm just gonna remove a few of these net pots so we can see the egg crate uh, racks that we built. All right, and so real quickly here, I'm going to run through the three different growing conditions that we're going to be exposing our Christmas moss to. Uh, so as you can see here, the one on the right is the highest rack. And so what that is actually going to give us is it's going to allow the water level to touch just the bottom of the net pot and no more. And that's going to simulate growing this moss in an immersed condition. So it's just going to moisten the moss enough for it to get nutrients, but it's not going to actually be underwater. Next up on the left hand side here, we have another egg crate or light diffuser rack that we built. This one is a little bit shorter. And so what that's actually going to allow us is it's going to allow a little bit more water to infiltrate into the net pot as the water in the system rises. And so that's going to expose the Christmas moss to underwater conditions. However, when the ebb and flow system kicks in and it actually drains, it's also going to expose this moss to immersed state and so the moss is going to be growing in a mixture of both. And so this is something I'm really curious and interested in to see how the moss actually grows uh, because it's kind of getting the best of both worlds. It's getting a lot of water, which is going to have a lot of nutrients, but it's also getting exposed to the air, which is going to have a lot of CO2. And I'm predicting that this is actually going to give us some of the best growth rate for our moss. Now in the back, we also have a few net pots that are just sitting on the back of the tub or the base of the tub. And so this is actually going to be growing moss in a purely submersed state. So the water level never actually drains below the pot. And so any moss we put in these net pots are going to be underwater for the entire duration of the ebb and flow cycle. And so this is kind of going to simulate a control or uh, more replicating how we grow our moss in our aquariums. And so next up for this experiment, I'm going to put the net pots back into this tub and we're gonna start portioning off all of our Christmas moss and putting them in each of the different containers. 
All right, so we're finally at the stage where we're ready to portion out our Christmas moss for this experiment. But before doing that, I need a very important tool, and that is this pocket scale here, which is going to allow us to weigh out our Christmas moss. This scale in particular weighs things out to two significant figures, so that's going to give us a pretty good level of precision for running this experiment. So in order to do that, I have the net pots here, which I'm going to weigh out just to get a baseline uh, weight for the net pots. Uh, I've also got some gravel weighing down the net pots. I'm going to remove that uh, for any time that I do weighing for this experiment. And basically, after I get the initial weight for the net pot, I'm going to add a little bit of Christmas moss into each pot. And for this experiment, I'm going to try my best to keep it at the same amount of starting weight. And that's going to allow us to really compare the growth rate for each of the different treatments as the experiment goes on. I also plan on running some statistics depending on the quality of data that we get from this experiment so we can really conclusively determine what is the best way of growing this Christmas moss. Uh, and in order to do that, I'm going to be periodically weighing out each of the net pots in order to kind of map the growth rate and the final uh, biomass of our Christmas moss at the end of this experiment. So I've kind of played around with a few different weights off camera, and I think aiming for 0.2 grams of Christmas moss as a starting weight for our containers is going to be the perfect amount because then we know that light's not gonna be a limiting factor. And I'm really hoping that we can get some really good growth rate uh, showing uh, from the starting 0.2 grams to however many grams we can actually grow in each of these pots. Each of the treatments is going to have 15 pots and that's going to allow us to calculate an average and a standard deviation for each of the treatments, which is going to allow us to run some statistics, hopefully if we get some good data. All right, so to show you what I mean by this, I've got one example here. So I'll remove that piece of gravel, set that aside. And now I can throw the net pot that is fully empty onto the scale. I can see here that it's spitting out 3.38 grams. Uh, once I record that number, I can hit tear and zero that out. Uh, second, I'm going to grab a small clump of Christmas moss. As you can see here, throwing that into the net pot, uh, it's giving us 0 0.17 grams. Again, I think I'm gonna try to, oh, just jumped up to 0 0.20 grams. So that is a perfect amount for a starting weight that we're gonna aim for in this experiment. So now that we've got that done, I'm going to add this piece of gravel back into the container. Try not to crush the Christmas moss too much, uh, but then this one is perfectly ready to go. We can add this into the experiment. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do that for all of our net pots, and then we'll start the experiment. So now the Christmas moss has been weighed and portioned out and I've placed them into the tub over here and as you can see everything is running smoothly. Now this isn't the only experiment that I'm running in this ebb and flow immerse aquarium plant setup. As you can see here in these two levels I'm running an experiment with some of my Anubias plants and I'm getting some really really interesting results. So check out this video right here if you want to learn more about that experiment or my immerse setup here. <laughs> 